Welcome everybody. This is the how to sing and play guitar or pretty much accompany, accompany yourself. Uh, you can do it on any instrument. Uh, how to sing and play guitar is how we're going to like word it for now. But this is basically how you can sing and play a song um, and jump in and have a lot of fun uh, doing a, a thing that for a lot of people is really, really scary. Um, I know when I first tried to do it, it was terrifying. Um, I was, I've always been a guitarist first. I just played guitar. Uh, I then watched a video of John Mayer talking about being listenable and connecting with people. And I was like, yeah, one of my friends, he would just play Save Tonight by Eagle Eye Cherry. And everyone was like, oh my God, you're the greatest ever. And I'm like, man, that's, that's four chords. And he's just singing a couple of melodies. Like what's so crazy about that? And then I would play Eruption, which requires like huge technical facility and time and effort. And one dude at the back who was into hard rock was like, dude, that it was sick. You were doing the tapping thing. It's like, so for me, it was a big realization to unlocking my, like my need to express myself to more people than just my guitar circle. That's what singing and playing guitar really you know, did wonders for me. Now, um, I went to Berkeley. Uh, I am a professional musician. Um, so this stuff is coming from the context of what I've learned through formal education and then also how I've applied it um, in every gig, every time I perform online through my stream. Um, there's like over a thousand shows of uh, refining this process for myself and then also for students that I've had um, and, and trying to make this nice and clear for you guys so that we can get through and learn as much as possible. Now, right off the get-go, we've got, like, this is going to be, like, just to get jump into this whole course right now that we're doing, there's going to be what I've got here, six videos that you guys are going to have to to watch. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over and start understanding mindsets and the processes around the mindsets first because you need to learn... Uh, how to learn first, which is the the wildest thing. Um, and then that is once we get through that part, then I think you guys can start requesting songs and I'm just going to post videos of me like, this is how you sing and play X song. And then I will make the full tutorial for you guys and get you guys to start learning by doing. Um, that's the best way I found to learn. Um, you guys can watch as many videos as you want, but if you're not out there actually trying the stuff that I'm going to give you then um yeah you're you're not really going to get that far ahead anyway let's just jump into this video this is the very first video so um number one get go i want you to start thinking about um the mindset around singing and playing and i want you to start defining the expectations that you have of yourselves now there's two skills that are required for this which is and and then they are married to make another skill which that in itself is a skill. And that's what this course is about. So the first two skills that you're trying to marry is singing and then playing your instrument. In this case, playing guitar. So there's those two skills in the, on their own have huge um, paths of mastery and understanding. So this course is not a course on how to get good at singing or how to get good at guitar. Um, I'm assuming that uh, we will have that. The singing element you can actually use quite a bit of this stuff. And um, if there's enough uh, feedback from you guys, I will um, chat to one of my vocal coaches and we'll see if we can get like a really beginner, um, beginner to professional uh, technique workout or course for you guys set out. So um, give, let me know in the feedback if you want it. Um, but right off the get-go, you need to understand that those, those two skills are going to grow and get better over time. So... When you go to sing and play guitar, it's not about you being the best singer or the best guitarist. It's going to be about marrying those two and then what is your skill set as someone who can sing and play guitar. And so that right off the bat, understand that being a great singer is not going to make you a great like self-accompanied player. Being a great guitarist is not going to make you a great self-accompanied player. You need to understand that both of them together is what makes it. Um, because I've, you would definitely have gone to gigs and you would have seen plenty of people who are like rock star vocalists and then you put a guitar in their hand uh, and they're like, what the, this is going crazy. It's just like a, just a train wreck. Um, 
And so what I want you guys to do is to understand that we really want to hone that skill. Um, don't stop practicing your singing. Don't stop practicing your guitar on their own, but understand that this is its own thing and you really need to just have that expectation that it's going to suck. It's going to suck so much at the start and then it's going to suck a little less and then it's probably going to suck enough that you're like, well, that wasn't that bad. And then you'll start getting a little bit good and then you'll start mastering it. So just, yeah, that's that's what I want. Just right off the get-go, understand that this is hard um, and it's going to be, it's hard and simple. It's really hard to explain it in the sense that like, you could simply just do what I say and you will get there. And it's easy in that regard. Like if you follow my steps, it will be very easy to achieve these goals. And then, uh, but the hard thing is you actually have to do them. And there's gonna be parts of it that are gonna be easy for you to pick up depending on your guitar playing. And there's gonna be some parts that are gonna be easy for you to pick up depending on your singing. Um, depending on the song that you approach, like you're gonna find their own little challenges. And that's the beauty of it. Like if, it was easy in like in in implementing this like if it was like if anyone could just pick up a guitar and sing and just do it everyone would do it and it just wouldn't be that fun um but i am telling you this is a very rewarding process and it's going to allow um your craft your ideas your passion towards music to become accessible to more people and that's what we're all about now um when it comes to this whole course, it's going to be built around the four stages that I believe um, are key to getting singing and playing down. Now, there's four stages. The first stage is going to be, are you listenable? So we're going to break down the steps to getting listenable. And that is pretty much you can just sing and you can play a couple of chords. And they're all in time. And we've won. Uh, you could perform that for someone and no one would throw a beer at your face. And that is what we're going for listenable we get number one the second part will be building confidence so confidence is the next part which is going to be developing your strumming developing uh you know seeing what more that you can learn from in the groove and how you can do that kind of stuff and then stage three will be arrangement which is going to be the step once you've got the confidence in the playing and you can strum and you can do those things now we're going to start creating like this ebb and flow within the song um where you're going to try and uh, connect with the recording of the song or if you want to emulate like the guitar part of the song we're going to find ways uh, you're going to at least get the tools that I use in every song that I perform with um, and it the feedback that I get with my performing is like people are like man it sounds like you're a band but like you you sound like a band but it's just you I'm not saying I'm looping but I'm saying like just the dynamic level of control that I have through my arrangement is enough for people to feel the same feeling that they would get from a recording and that's a huge power when you're just self uh, accompanying uh, because you know we don't have a band behind us and so we can't build energy that way obviously when you get a looper you can do a bunch more stuff but that's a different conversation um and then the fourth step is mastery and so this is the fourth step will be around how we can master our skill as a singer and a player and then how we can uh, keep evolving and keep getting better. So looking forward to jumping into this course. Uh, I definitely thought a lot about it because it's uh, something that's uh, bothered me a lot. I was like, oh, what, what's the best way I can think of how to do this? And I think with, I'm very comfortable that this is really gonna help you guys. So we'll jump into the next uh, next five videos. And um, and if you're watching on YouTube and you're like, oh, where's, the, where's the content? The content's on our school. So. Um, and I'll make like a more overview video for all the YouTube people so that hopefully they can come to the course and they can see what it's all about. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video and let's get this party started. Oh, yeah. <laughs>